Hi guys, I'm Natasha and I'm backstage at a seminar interviewing one of the keynote speakers, the Prophet Joel, who has also been nominated for a Faith Award. He led people to God's word through, you guessed it, prophecy. It is such an honor to meet you, Joel. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. That is amazing to hear. And congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. How did you feel when you were nominated? Well, to be honest, I kind of saw it coming. But it was a pleasant experience nonetheless. And a very well-deserved one. You led people to God's word through your speaking. And I heard that you're a phenomenal speaker. So what are you up to right now? I am going to be having a seminar at 8.30 called Turn to God. I would be delighted if you could join us. That sounds incredible. I would love to join. And thank you so much for your time. You are most welcome. And thank you guys for joining us. We hope that you have a wonderful day and we'll see you real soon. Bye. But he brought me in all oh, his love for me All oh, his love for me Who the song sets free Who oh, is free indeed I'm a child of God Yes I
guys, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The final performance of our amazing Faith Awards theme song presented to us by Felicia and Marion. I am so excited to see what they have prepared for us. And I hope that you are too. Uh, I'm not going to say anything more. The lyrics are going to be on the screen. See if you can follow on and I'm going to leave it up to them. All right. Enjoy, guys. Faith is being sure, sure of what we hope for. Faith is being sure of what we do not see. People of long ago trusted God in their trials. Faith like this pleases God and they were praised for their faith. Wow, guys, that was really incredible. Thank you so much, ladies, for performing that for us. It was absolutely stunning. And I was able to sing along as well. I hope that you guys were able to as well. But that's it from us for now, guys. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back to another week of Kids Church. My name is Yeshua, a.k.a. Spurgimoto, and I'm so stoked to be here to be sharing uh, today's message and speaking about today's faith award nominee okay i'll tell you a bit more about him in a moment but before i get that, i actually want to share a quick testimony with you guys so i don't i don't actually remember how long ago this was but it was quite some time ago where so what had happened was i started posting some statuses on or some messages on my status like my whatsapp statuses and my Instagram stories, and just across my social medias. And basically what I was posting about was the need for people to turn back to God. So I started talking about a whole lot of different things. I was posting Bible verses up there, and, and just telling people that it is important that people should turn back to God, that we actually need to be saved. We need a Savior. And so in essence, if you're not walking with God, you need to quit what you're doing, and turn to him, give your life to Christ. Now, I was putting these messages out there, and a lot of people saw them. I don't necessarily know what everybody thought, because I didn't ask, and they, some of them didn't necessarily say anything. But one person, well, a few people, but one person in particular that, that I want to speak about actually reached out to me after seeing one of these statuses and showed a desire to understand what I was talking about. And so they're like, Spurge, what are you on about? Like, what is this? What does it mean to turn to God? What does it mean to follow God? And based off of the messages that I decided to put on my status, I was able to uh, talk to this person, explain to them what it means to follow God, and ultimately help them turn to God. Now, I want to tell you about today's nominee. He goes by the name Joel. Joel, also known as Joel, right? And the interesting thing about Joel is similar to what I did on my status, Joel actually is well known for standing up in his time and bringing a message from God. Now, I want to ask you, do you want to take a wild guess what Joel's message said? Drum roll. Yes, turn back to God. Well, this actually comes from a book called you guessed it, Joel. It comes from uh, Joel. And I want to read a short one from Joel chapter 2. And I'm reading for verse 12. And this is what Joel said. Joel came up to the people and he said, This is what the Lord says. Turn to me now while there is time and give me your hearts. Turn to me now while there is time and give me your hearts. And Joel was 
passionate about this message. And so he took it to people. And if you read the rest of the books, you realize how passionately he spoke about it. But ultimately, Joel was therefore able to earn himself a faith nomination because he showed faith by calling people to turn to God. Now, what I find extremely interesting is actually when Jesus Christ was on earth with his disciples, this is what he asked them to do. He told them, go and make disciples of all nations or all men, right? And what he was actually effectively asking them was that they should go out into the world and tell people to turn back to God. He was asking them to have faith that if they would put up messages and if they would speak to different people, that God would use that and help those people come back to him or turn back to him. Now, my challenge to you is a simple one, is that much like Joel, much like I did, and much like Jesus Christ called his disciples, which is also us to do, uh, let's go out there. I know we all have people in our lives that we know that don't know God. And next time, if you maybe meet somebody who doesn't know God, tell them about God. Uh, read them this message from Joel. Read them the message that Jesus spoke. Or you can even go to Acts chapter 2, which quotes the prophet Joel from verses, I think, 16 to 18. Or you read the whole chapter if you want to. And basically, help them see what God is asking them to do, which is to turn away from the life they're living and turn to God. I hope you guys will be bold in doing that. And who knows? Maybe... In future, we'll be celebrating you for your nomination because you showed faith by helping other people turn to God. I hope you guys were blessed by that. And until I see you next, have yourselves a blessed, blessed day. Goodbye. Welcome to the Faith Awards Quiz. And today we have with us Joel, who's really well known for his encouraging speeches, and also Natasha, one of the Faith Awards hosts. Welcome, welcome. And let's see how you guys are going to do on the Bible quiz today. The way that it works, I'm going to give you a question. The first person to raise their hands gets to answer first. If you get it right, you get one point. If you get it wrong, your opponent gets a chance to give it a go. And the person with the most points wins. So we wish you every success. Are you both ready? Yes. All right. The first question was, was uh, Jonah a prophet or a priest? Tell us, Natasha. A prophet. A prophet. That's right. What kind of a prophet? A really good one. <laughs> He was a reluctant prophet. He ran away. But uh, yes, he got his message through to, to Nineveh nonetheless. All right. And then people that accepted or rejected Jesus. This is quite an interesting one because it came after Bible times. The prophet Muhammad, did he accept or reject Jesus? Mm, tell us, Natasha, what do you think? He rejected Jesus? Interesting. Many people think that. And yet, if you go and read the Prophet Muhammad's writings in the Quran, you see that he not only acknowledged that Jesus was a prophet, he also acknowledged Jesus' virgin birth and the miracles of Jesus. So I would say that the Prophet Muhammad accepted Jesus. All right. What about this one? Do you know what the profession or job of Priscilla is? Priscilla, married to Aquila. What was her profession? Tell us, Natasha. She was a businesswoman. Businesswoman. Mm, I'll give you half a point for that. Do you want to go for some more detail there, Joel? Do you know what kind of business she was involved in? Not really. Not really. Okay. She was, in fact, a tent maker, the same profession as Paul. So that was Priscilla, also one of our contestants. And how about this person? Was Samuel a king or a prophet? Samuel. Samuel. Tell us, Joel. He was a prophet. Very good. Yes, he was the first of the major prophets. And he's the one who anointed the kings. He anointed King David. Um, he anointed the first King Saul. And he was an amazing prophet. Yes, he really set the bar for what we expect of prophets. How about miracles? Let's consider what 
miracle, and there are quite a few, but what miracle is Moses famous for and next to the Red Sea? Ooh, that was close. Tell us, Joel. Parting the Red Sea. That's right. That's right. Uh, and for a bonus point then, Natasha, do you know which, uh, which items he used to part the Red Sea? Oh, his staff. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. What is King Solomon famous for? Tell us, Joel. His wisdom. Very good. He was one of the wisest people on the earth. Very good. And then last question. Was Matthew in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Tell us, Natasha. New Testament. That's right. In fact, he wrote the book of Matthew. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you both for playing. Well done. And we wish you every success with your nomination, Joel. And we want to say thank you for your interesting interviews um, and for your role in making the Faith Awards happen, Natasha. Thank you. And uh, kids, continue watching. We've got some questions for you.